Aries, welcome to Profound Effect Tarot. I'm Brandon Leakey. Right now I'll be doing a reading for all Aries. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus of that sign, this will be a timeless reading. So whenever you watch this, it's going to be the right time for you to watch it. I'm also going to get you an added message with money and all the traction cards. And we're going to get right into your reading. Well, all Aries out there having a great Saturday, getting ready for New Year's. I know I'm ready. I'm ready for this. 2022 was an experience, hell of a year. Hope all you enjoyed it. Okay, we're gonna get you some accurate messages here. First card we got is the nine of rods. With the nine of rods coming out, this is telling you that you were hurt by a situation that you recently went through. This has put you through a lot of difficulty, and now you're held back. You're gun shy to move forward or make any moves um, with this situation right now. And somebody put you, um, somebody felt, made you feel like you were lesser than you were. They made you, they made you feel like you weren't good enough. And again, you are good enough. This is this is the card of the last salvo. This, this soldier right here, he fought a lot of battles. These are, these are all the battles he won behind him. See his eight rods behind him? He won this. He's, hold, he's holding his ground. He, he's standing his ground. He's telling you that's what you got to do. You, know, you can't just give up. You can't just walk away. On a situation that you fought for because you get the victory coming in and you don't even see it. You don't even see this coming your way. That six of that six of wands, right? The six of rods right here in this deck. This is desires fulfilled. You're getting what you want. Even though you're feeling a little bit gun shy, you're feeling a little bit hurt, ready to give up, ready to ready to tap out, ready to lay down, not get back up. You you, you got to get back up. Got to get, get back out there and get this. It belongs to you, Aries. You're supposed to be the god of war, you know what I'm saying? You, you, gotta, you gotta have that, that fight in you. Sometimes you lose some battles. You know, you might have lost a battle or two out there. I think you lost some battles that made you want to quit. You had a painful experience. But you gotta get back out there. Finish this. Yeah, because you have the magic. you got the power. you got all the tools in your arsenal to get this thing done. See, the, 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 ma the magician here is very powerful masculine energy, as you can see by this number one up here. Represents represents the power of initiative. So you gotta, you got to take that initiative. you got to take that action. Take that first step in getting where you want to go. It's up to you, Aries, to manifest this, to make it happen. you got to take that action. you got to do this. Communicate very well. You got to be open and honest with your communication. See, this is ruled by ruled by the planet Mercury, which is which is all about communication. That's what you need right now. You need to get that communication flowing in multiple areas. You see, what I'm saying? you got you got multiple different ways you can do it. You got the cup energy here. You got the pentacles. So you know you got to show that you got to show that you, you got to show your heart. Don't be afraid to show your heart and heart in your sleeve if you got to. Don't be afraid to um to uh, you know speak the truth. Be honest as well. So. There's a lot of different ways you can communicate your feelings, and you're gonna have, you're gonna have to use all. Of them. You're gonna have to use all of these elements to be able to w make this thing work. And when you do that, you're gonna restore peace and harmony to all your relationships. I can't make this up. Look at that. You got the four of rods coming out here. So this is telling you that peace and harmony will be restored in your love life, and uh, things are looking very good for you overall. I just see a lot of things growing around you. I see I see I see abundance coming in in all areas of your life. Your your uh, financial gains are gonna be coming in. You're, there's going to be a lot of love for people around you. They're going to be, you're going to have people calling you up, have people showing up to your place. You know, you could have a big New Year's party going on. That's, that's also good for events. And you have that Four of Wands energy coming out. It's telling you to surround yourself with good people. Gather your closest friends together. Yeah, there's a lot of communication coming in for you. And there's a lot of ideas uh, blossoming for you as well. A lot, of, a lot of great new ideas coming in for you. This is a card of uh, aha moments, so you're going to realize something. Something's going to come to your mind where you're like, you know what? I could have said this a long time ago. I could have done this a long time ago, and it would have fixed all this bullshit. It would have fixed this situation. It would have got me out of this 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 painful situation that I'm in right now. It would have got me out of this struggle. It would have won, it would have won me this war a long time ago. But you're, you're fighting a winning battle now, Aries. You're fighting a winning battle. You know what you need to say. You know what you need to do to get this thing right, to make this right. Yeah, I'm telling you, you're going to be fixing whatever it was that was broken. You're going to mend whatever was broken. You feel like you missed an opportunity with somebody. You're looking at all the pain and the loss that you went through. 
you need to turn around. You know what I'm saying? You're wearing this cloak of sadness right now. You need to turn around and take a look at what's still standing. Because you're going to take these two cups, you're going to carry them to this castle right here and enjoy them. You can enjoy a victory coming in. I'm telling you, you're going to get the right idea. Something's going to come to your mind. You're going to be like, you know what? Wow. I should have said this a while ago. I should have done this a while ago. It's going to just come through like that. And you're going to make this right. You're going to make things right. Like I said, the power of manifestation is working in your favor right now. You're going to be able to get what you want. You're going to be able to fight your way out of this. Hang in there. Patient. The truth will be revealed to you. The idea, the, what you got to say, is going to be revealed to you. So just hang in there. You're going to be okay. You'll be all right. It's going to be a beautiful new year for you. You got the two of uh, Rod's energy coming out here, so you're going to have a lot of new options coming in for you. Um, right now, it's it's this this is a, a card of an important choice that you need to make. You got those two Rods right there. You go down this path, or you go down this path. It looks like you already have one chosen. You already have one chosen. You got your hand right around this route right here. So you, you already have a path you're going down, or you're ready to go down. Just got to make sure it's the right one. You got to make sure it's the right one that you're going down. You have a lot of options out here. See, the thing is, the option you're going after hurts you. They betrayed you. They made you feel like you weren't enough. Like I said before, they walked away from you. And then. They were looking back to see if you were hurting, to see to see if you you, were, you you felt any pain from this, what you were going through after that, after they had left you, abandoned you, whatever it was. They're looking back, like like is, is he is he okay from all this? Is he is he hurting after looking like this? And you, I, I guess you were hurting, but you weren't showing. You kept your game face on, like nothing happened to you. You went back out there. You said, you know, you said, said I'm all right. I'm dust myself off. I'm gonna go back out there on the battlefield, and I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go go after, continue to go after this option. You know what I'm saying? You got, you got the right idea now. Now you, now you know how to approach this. You know how to approach this person. You know how to communicate with this person after overcoming the obstacles. After, after going through some sort of humiliation, this person humiliated you. They put you through an embarrassing um, experience, this person. They made you feel like a lesser person. Could have, this could have really shook your confidence. I think this really shook your confidence, whatever this person did to you. Shook your confidence. You're regaining that because Alexander the Great is a conqueror. He's somebody who overcomes these difficulties and gets what he wants. So you're overcoming this. You're finding a way to conquer this. You're getting the victory. You're getting crowned. Look at this. You're getting the victory. Look at that little, that little wreath wrapped around the tip of that sword. I'm going to have to tell her, hey, wrap your little pretty lips around the tip of my sword. Just start sucking. <laughs> As you don't tell her. You're getting the victory, though. I'm telling you right now, you're getting the victory, Aries. Don't mark my words right now. You're gonna get. You're gonna say what you have to say. You're gonna do what you have to do. You're gonna do it with confidence, with swagger. Look at this. I'm telling you, the magician works his magic. He got confidence. He's, he's that powerful masculine energy. He goes in there and gets what he can say. That belongs to me. See that? See that right there? That's mine right there. I don't know who you thought you were, Jack. Better hit the road. Don't you come back no more. Messing with what I got. You know what I'm saying. You're messing with a conqueror out here, Alexander the Great. You're messing with one of the greats out here. Who, who, who are you? You know what I'm saying? What? You're messing with one of the greats, baby. Who, who was that? Who was that? I sent him right back. I sent him right back where the hell he came from. <laughs> and we got ourselves, what did I tell you? A missed opportunity. You're going to be overcoming this. You get, the cups are still standing. This is a card that's telling you to focus on the good things of your of your situation. Focus on the good aspects so that they come to you. You got two cups right here. One for each of you. You got two rods right here. You got options. But you're going after the one you want. You're going to continue to do that. It's telling you not to give up on them. Not to give up on whoever it is that you want here. And that's going to be your reading areas. I'm going to get you added message for the money. Attraction cards. Okay, and the message I got for you, Aries, is I am always receiving the essence of what I am giving. I am always receiving the essence of what I am giving. And I'll read the message on the back for you. It says, Appreciation and love and alignment to that which is source. 
is the ultimate giving back, so to speak. For in your pain or struggle, you have nothing to give back. What you are living is always an exact, exact replication of your vibrational patterns of thought. Nothing can be more fair than life as you are living it, for you are always, for as you are thinking, you are vibrating. And as you are vibrating, you are attracting. You are always getting back the essence of what you are giving. So what did I say? Make sure you focus on the good things. Make sure you, you, you give out the good essence and not the negative one where you're wearing this cloak of sadness. Focus on the spilled cups. Make sure you look at this right here because you've got plenty of opportunities around you. you got the right idea when it comes to this connection that you have. You're working your magic. You have all the tools at your disposal to get the job done. You've just been hurt by a, by a humiliating experience. You're going to get over that. You're going to get the victory that you want. And it's going to be a happy new year for all the Aries out there. And Aries, that's going to be your reading. I hope you enjoyed that. I know I enjoyed doing it for you. If it does resonate with you, make sure you hit that like button. Allow all the other Aries out there to be able to view these messages. That's going to be for them and the whole, the whole Aries family. So put that good energy out there. And also make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that little notification bell so you don't miss your reading next time these signs come out. You don't want to do that. But you do want to help us grow here at Profound Effect Tarot by donating. You can donate to my cash app, my PayPal, or my Venmo, and all that information will be included in that description box below this video. So you can do that down there. I want to say thank you so much for doing that down there. God bless you, and y'all have a happy new year.